Hey, you guys. Happy Monday. Um, so I just got back from Trader Joe's, did a little grocery shopping. So just literally going to unpack my bags right now and show you what I got at the store, okay? Um, keep in mind, I've already prepped most of my proteins this morning. I just did some ground turkey and some um, bone-in skinless chicken thighs. I like the bone-in just because it I feel like it gives it a little bit more flavor, but you can do boneless as well. Um, so most of my protein's done, so I really focused on picking up my fruits and my veggies and a couple other things. So starting with my cold bag, because yes, I have to pack my bags in order. So I've got organic baby spinach, two things of organic baby spinach. You'll see lots of greens. I got organic baby kale as well. Um, I like baby kale a lot because I can mix it into my smoothies, which is really nice. Um, otherwise, like I have the dinosaur kale, kind of that thicker kale as well, that I'll saute a lot in the mornings. Um, speaking of sautés, some mushrooms. Um, these are organic creamy mushrooms. What else do I got in here? Got some cauliflower. Um, I actually have some frozen rice cauliflower in the freezer as well from Trader Joe's. That I like. Otherwise, this I just will chop up and saute. Um, got lots of frozen berries. Again, organic. Make sure if you are going to spend money on anything, spend money on organic berries. They're oftentimes the most pesticide ridden, so you always want to get those organic. Um, I like having, I have some fresh ones in my other bag. I like having frozen on hand just in a pinch or if it's off season and the berries aren't like fresh and good, then I have the frozen ones. I have the broccoli slaw mix, which is just great to mix with other things. You can keep it cold or you can actually heat it up as well. So nice little option there. Got some Brussels sprouts. It's so funny that I now love Brussels sprouts because I hated them when I was a kid. If you ask my mom, I literally drowned my Brussels sprouts in ketchup to eat them. Um, and did you guys know that ketchup is the most consumed vegetable in the United States? So that's a scary thought. So let's cut out the ketchup and add in some Brussels sprouts. I love to roast my Brussels sprouts, cut up some onion, roast them in the oven, um, drizzled with like a little avocado oil or a little bit of coconut oil, salt, pepper. It's delicious. Or if you want a real treat, chop up some bacon just into little um, little bite pieces and then roast all of that together. Nobody will say that they don't like Brussels sprouts, I promise you. What else? Got some green beans in here. So if you can't tell, I really like my green vegetables. Um, so these are already trimmed and cleaned. It makes my life super easy. All right. We're going into the next bag, you guys. Yes, they're my Kaya Fit bag. So I got some raw nuts. Um, I already started eating some of these. Got some Brazil nuts, cashews, pecans, hazelnuts, almonds. I think that's it. This is a Brazil nut. If you guys didn't know, it's kind of that big nut. It's really, really high in selenium, which is one of your minerals that you need. So I got eggs. These are not my favorite eggs. They did not have pasture-raised eggs at Trader Joe's. So I got organic free range, which is kind of second best. But if you can, if your store has pasteurized, pasture-raised eggs, that's what you want. The best ones you can get. They're typically like 7 to $8 um, a dozen. They are a little bit more expensive, but they're the best eggs for you because um, they're really high in omega-3s, which is the good anti-inflammatory omega. Um, sorry, I'm eating my Brazil nut now. So other eggs sometimes are a little bit higher in omega-6, and omega-6 isn't a bad fat, but oftentimes our omega-6 and omega-3 ratio is out of order. We need more omega-3s because um, our omega-6 are just through the roof in America, okay? And I might actually do a video later this week on inflammation, and I'll really get into that omega-6, omega-3 ratio. Um, so like I said, I got fresh berries. Um, I got fresh blackberries and fresh raspberries, organic. Um, I got unsweetened sunflower seed spread. So this is kind of a sunflower alternative to like peanut butter. Um, 
I don't do peanut butter anymore just because A, it's not really a nut and B, there's just a lot of stuff in peanuts and peanut butter and how it's done. So finding an alternative, this is a little bit more cost effective um, than say almond butter, which I also love, but i um, going to try out sunflower butter. I got some vanilla extract because I was out. I got some chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's and I'll show you guys my favorite one from Trader Joe's that I have like three bottles on hand because I'm scared to run out. And that's the everything but the bagel sesame um, seasoning. I mean, I put this on everything. It's great in like my sautés just for that little kick. It has that onion, sesame, garlic, all of that good stuff in there. Um, I got shredded coconut flakes, unsweetened shredded coconut flakes. Don't go for candied coconut. Um, but great little added fat. Sometimes I'll add it on top of my smoothie and make like an aca acai bowl. Avocados because I don't live without them. And I got this salad dressing that I had never seen before. Let me see. It's the Green Goddess salad dressing. And literally I love the ingredient list. It's water, avocado, apple cider vinegar. Love. Um, green onions, lemon juice, chives, parsley, olive oil, yellow onion, basil, garlic, sea salt, black pepper. That's it. No preservatives, no colorings. Um, they had another one there that looked really good. It was their carrot ginger dressing, but I looked at the ingredients and it was made with canola oil, which I am not a fan of. Um, so I didn't get that one and I'm sure it's probably not too, not too hard to make. But this one just looked great. Oftentimes I make my own salad dressing at home, but it tends to be apple cider vinegar and olive oil, and that sometimes can get a little boring. Um, so I thought I would just shake it up a little bit and grab this one. So excited to try that out. Um, that was my grocery haul. So I'm going to finish my Brazil nut, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.